sculptors first carve a replica of their sculpture from wood or shape it out of plaster or clay. They coat it with a lubricant. Then with silicone rubber. When the rubber hardens about six hours later, the lubricated replica slips out easily, leaving a detailed rubber mold. Next, they pour hot wax into the mold. The wax cools in about 15 minutes, leaving an exact wax replica of the sculpture. Next, they attach what's called a sprue, a wax channel that will funnel the molten bronze into the mold. They dip the wax replica into a ceramic material. then coat it with powdered silica, a common mineral, to strengthen the ceramic. Next stop, an autoclave. In about 10 minutes under the machine's hot steam pressure, the wax inside the ceramic shell melts away, leaving a hardened and hollow ceramic mold. That mold goes into a kiln at 850 degrees Celsius. After two hours, it's fired. This is the finished mold into which the bronze will be cast. At the foundry, they heat the bronze to 1140 degrees Celsius. Then carefully pour it into the mold. The molten metal takes just a few minutes to solidify. Then they chisel off the ceramic casing to reveal the bronze statue inside. They sandblast the statue to remove the ceramic residue. Then they saw off the sprue. They weld shut any holes or other imperfections. Then polish the statue using various abrasive heads. They heat the statue, then spray on an acid coating. This coating, called patina, gives the bronze its shimmer and richness of color. Finally, a coat of wax makes the statue shine.